question, English education, you think of this? Kind of fail. No, it's more like this. And this would be a secondary school, and this would be like a primary school or a junior school. And in America, y'all look like this. Uh, that. <laughs> yeah, big difference. Um, so. Okay, so today my goal for you guys is to see the differences between the British education system and the U.S. education system. And I'll be discussing... Um, I'll be discussing terminology, um, how the age groups are divided, and how they're organized, and the annual layout, um, transitioning from a lower education, like from like high school to college or middle school to like high school, and terms versus semesters. Uh, firstly, age division. <laughs> age divisions um, in the UK are done by key stages. So we have like key stage zero would be nursery, um, what we call nursery reception, and it goes into key stages one through five. Five is like basically where we're at now. Like if you're in England, you'd be in key stage five. And a key stage is basically like an outline for the education system of the goals you have to meet before you can go on to a next level. Like naturally, like you go through your classes and you will already know, like by the end of it, you know certain information, like by the lessons. Um, so you have, like, for instance, Key Stage 2, you'll be 11 when you're done with Key Stage 2, and you'll, it'll be called, like, Year 6, like, you guys say grade, we say year. So, yeah, that's the difference. And then, you guys call it, like, college, and we call it sixth form. So, like, when you graduate high school, you don't graduate either, by the way. Um, when you graduate high school in the U.S., you go on to college, but we go on to A levels, which is sixth form, but I'll take that. Okay. So in the U.S., um, you guys have preschool, kindergarten, elementary, middle school, and high school, and you guys call yourself like grade, basically you guys know. So it's like first grade to fifth grade, you're 6 to 11, and 6 to 8th grade, you're 11 to 14, and whatnot. And this section right here, we don't have this. Like, you go from here to here, like, immediately. So when you're 11, you change over. So... I'll tell you about that. So in the UK, at the age of 11, transferring from higher education to lower education. So um, at 11 in the UK, you transfer to um, secondary school, also known as high school in the US, and you have to pass um, a certain test called um, SATs. Um, standard assessment reasoning and that's in year six which would be your sixth grade and you need to pass that like with like at least to pass you have to get like a three 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 the highest you can get is a five 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 and it would be in English math and science and standard, SAT stands for standard assessment test so um, once you transfer um, from elementary school what you guys call elementary school what we call like junior school you'll go into like high school and you'll be in Key Stage 3 at that point. So you do two years in Key Stage 3, so from like 7th to ninth grade, over here, year 7 to year 9 in the UK. And at that point, you go into Key Stage 4. So Key Stage 4, um, you then pick um, classes for your GCSEs. Your GCSE stands for General Certificate of Secondary Education, and it's basically like a course you take with a variety of courses, and this place comes in. So, um, in the UK, you would take these foundation classes. So you have like English, math, science, religious studies, which is like religious studies, also known as RS. So you learn about, um, in England is a very cultural country, and you have a whole bunch of random people, like mixed into one. So you learn, in this class, you learn about like every single like religion there is, like Judaism, Islam, Christianity. And then in that, in most schools, you have this event where it's like a project for every school, and you have like a wedding. And like me, being the ethnicity I am, I might do like a Hindu wedding. And you have to, the point of it is to be able to retell the story of getting married. So it's like very cultural. So it's part of 
socializing our kids into being accepting to other cultures. And then you have physical education, obviously. And in the UK, we have physical education like three times a week. Three times in two weeks. On that note, we don't, yeah, we don't do education. Physical education every day. And then ICT stands for Information, Communication, Technology, which is IT over here. And then generally, um, these are your foundation classes. Like you have no choice to take these. These are already like in your curriculum. And then you have a choice to take these classes. You have art, drama, all these. And you can either take these. These are singles, so they like count as like one point towards your GCSEs. And these count as two. So like health and social care. You probably take this if you wanted to be like a social worker or counselor or teacher, something like that. And then ICT and work skills would be like, you know, business stuff, or business, like these two go together, but it's a double option, and you get two GCSEs, so two of these is one of these, basically. And then in the US, you guys, this is your guys' general like education, like when you guys get into like your last few years of high school, these are like generally the classes that you take, and then you get to pick like one of these. You guys' is, um, range of electives are not as wide as ours, but generally these are the ones you have, like a foreign language, sociology, psychology, and like auto shop. Okay, so, um, now I want to tell you about um, like your schedule. You guys um, work on a one week schedule, so like you basically will have like the same classes every day, or maybe different classes every day, but it all contains in one week. In the UK, we have two week schedules. So we'll have, say for instance, like you have on the Monday, psychology, sociology, maths, English, and a science. The next week on that Monday, you have a completely different schedule. So you literally have to carry your schedule around. And we work on a two week schedule in order to add more into the curriculum. information um, for you guys is in the UK we call um, what you guys call professors we call tutors we don't have professors because a professor is someone with a special degree and it's holds the highest esteem so also like you guys call freshman sophomore junior senior we have a first year a second year third year and so on and if you go into like a university or any other school in the UK you're gonna be called a fresher for the first two weeks until like you fully settle in and then like any UK school. Um, a public school is a government school in the UK and a state school is a government school in the US. So what you guys call a state school is a government school in the US and our public school is like your resident state school, it's kind of backwards. And our public schools are paid for by the people who go there. So it's like a private school. <laughs> and then um, finally, I have like a joke. And it's like in England, like all students that go to school in England always say like, we have a simple dress code. Um, anything that's comfortable and looks nice and cool is illegal to wear in school. <laughs> <laughs> Which is very true. So finally in conclusion, I have given you some information about the background of the UK versus the US system. And I hope one day you will get to go to a UK school because we will. <laughs>